what is the relationship between the capacitor and the resistor in an amp? Like, because obviously there's shit loads of all of them, you know, if you mm. look at any app. So I always, yeah, what is the maybe thought process behind the two working together, if that's a correct question? Well, you know, if you, an amplifier, a light bulb, uh, a heater, anything is, is usually described as a load. Right. Right. The load, if you take, you know, if you take the power that's coming out of your wall, Mm. And you have like two two wires alive in a neutral. Mm. If you short them together, it'll blow all the fuses out of your house, right? Mm. The only way that that the only way you can put those two wires together is by by ultimately by putting a load in between, right. so, uh, uh, something that con you know controls the current flow, uh, and thereby makes whatever you put in between work, mm. right? So an amplifier is a load, a light bulb is a load, right? Um, and and this load essentially has a a resistance, right, right, right. or an impedance, and uh, and that's what stops uh, the thing they're shorting out and and blowing the fuses, mm. right? Because it 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 controls the current flow. Right. Now the whole idea in an amplifier is it's interesting. I mean, wow, where do you begin with with uh, you see? With current flow, what happens is you uh, just to be very, you know very crudely, sure. you know you got to think of electrons, right? Mm -hmm. Electrons live in the ground, and they're negatively charged, and they're and they're attracted, like anything in the in in life in the world is seeking to equalize potential. So if you have like uh, you know an empty bucket and a bucket with a lot of water, and you connect the two, they're trying to seek a level that both of them then will have this, you know, uh, the water level will, will be even in them. Mm. Um, it's the same with electrons, hence lightning, right? Like when, when, when a strong positive potential builds up in, in the clouds and it comes close enough to the ground that the electrons will arc out to seeking to equalize the potential, you know? And, uh, and so, in an amplifier, uh, uh, shoot. you know when they when they started making light bulbs, right? Mm -hmm. um, they they you know they had basically just a uh, filament um, inside the light bulb that that in that filament, you know, essentially that filament had a resistance and that resistance would make the wire glow, but it wouldn't make it burn out. The whole idea was, was to control how much current flowed flow through the wire. Mm -hmm. So the so by making the wire like have a certain resistance, you could control the current right. that went through the wire. But they found that the that the you know the material they used initially mm. um, would burn and it would blacken the inside of the glass, and these light bulbs would go very dim very quickly. Right. So then they tried to figure out how to you know attract all the soot. From from this burning filament to just one point in the glass, hmm. so they in introduced another electrode in the glass to attract the soot away from from uh, from you know from from the glass from the uh, attract the soot to this one point rather than the, all over the glass. Hmm. And 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 then what they found was that they accidentally had created a diode. Right. That that current was flowing away from the filament through the vacuum to this other electrode. Now, to get from there to amplification is only one more step, really. Right. Uh, clever, really, when you think about it. Um, they thought, okay, the only way that we can control how much current flows through this vacuum is by having, the, by the actual distance between between the two, the, these these two, the physical distance inside the vacuum, but also the, the 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 potential difference between the what they call the cathode is where it's attached to ground, where the negative electrons flow from, right. and the positive potential. So if you so there's physical space, uh, but also how how high the potential difference is. Mm -hmm. If you then take um, 
And then at this point, if you know, and this is what they came up with, they so you got the cathode at the bottom, you got the the anode, the plate, at the top with the high potential on. Hmm. If you put another third element into the middle, um, which is called the grid, control mm -hmm. grid, that's, um, that's now called a triode. Right. And your typical 12AX7s, your typical preamp right, tubes, right, right, they're, all right. tri they're all triodes. And a triode is, uh, the idea is that if I, you know, the Electrons are attracted to high positive potential because the electrons are negative. Um, if you bring this high, if you turn up the high positive potential on the on the anode uh, high enough, or or you move it close enough, there'll be a a, a crazy unlimited flow of electrons. Mm. You know, like you know, it'll be a discharge, like kind of like lightning. Um, what they came up with is like you put this control grid in between and make it negative, it will repel the electrons back again, you know, like because right, right. opposites attract, but you know, likes repel. So the negative electrons, while they want to go towards this positive uh, potential at the top, if you put this negative thing in between, the electrons. It will hide this strong positive potential from the electrons somewhat, right? right? So if you then adjust how negative you make that, you can allow kind of like a faucet. That's why they call tubes valves in England. Mm -hmm. um, it acts like a valve, right? Like you, so it's kind of like turning a faucet up, up and down. Right. Uh, you know, right, right, right. so so you so the, so you can either have a lot of electron flow by making this grid less negative, mm. or you make it more negative. It holds the current flow back. Right. Now, see, now we're, so then now we have a valve. Now we have, we're very close to controlling the current flow. Right, right. And now we're very close to amplification because if we now superimpose the signal onto this negative, this is, you know, the, the, the operating point that you set on this, the, the negativity on this control grid, mm. right, Th that you've preset, now hold, controls the current flow, makes it manageable through the tube. Mm. But that's just a steady current flow now, right. an idle an idle current, right? Kind of like the tick over on your car when you're sitting at a, you know, when you're not actually driving. Um, if you now superimpose the signal on o onto this negative potential, the signal is AC, so it goes up and down, mm -hmm. and every time it goes up more, you know, it turns the tube on more. Current flow increases when it goes negative decreases so the current flow inside the tube begins to take on the shape of the signal right right and then at the top because the current flow inside the tube is much bigger than the signal that's controlling it hmm. you now have a bigger version right, of, right, the, right. of the control signal and you can t you can tap it off the top right with the capacitor hmm. now the tube uh, in order to set these operating points on the tube you cannot just attach the the cathode to ground and uh, and the you know to and the and the, and the the plate and the anode to the you know to the high positive potential on the transformer. Mm. You know, mm. it just the tube would just fry and right. so so in order to control that, you need resistors. Right. So you basically right. stand so you stand the tube in between resistances. You know, like so there'll be a resistance. So instead of having the cathode of the tube planted on the ground, it's suspended in the air, so to speak, on top of a resistor. Right. And, uh, and, and at the top, you know, the, this is what I'm talking about, a, you know, a regular ampl amplifier stage now, mm -hmm. you know, um, with a, um, and, and at the top you have a, what they call a load resistor, mm -hmm. a plate, plate load resistor. And so the tube will then be suspended between the high B plus, the, the positive potential, and the ground. Right. And that's what sets the operating uh, parameters for this tube. Oh, yeah. And then, and so that's why, that's why these, what we call RC stages, R for resistor and C for capacitor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, so that's your typical gain stages. They consist of resistors, capacitors, and tubes. Yeah. That's fascinating, and, uh, man. 
Uh, thanks for explaining it. So, uh, yeah, I wish so I'd detailed. invented that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, much cleverer people than me came up with that a hundred years ago. Wow. So. 